You've, you've pulled off more than a, a few amazing feats in sort of cinema history. I mean, obviously the the trilogy thing is one of them. An Oscar win for an actor in you know in, in a sort of graphic novel a film is, is is unprecedented. But I think the greatest thing you've done is, and as a Batman film and a film fan, you finally got the Batman and Robin sort of bitter aftertaste that for, for the last sort of ten years out of our out of our lives at last. Um, you know, giving him some dignity again. I mean, was that something when you took on the first one? You thought, I'm, I'm going to have like the critics there. Well, we had. I mean, the the truth of it is, is, is there had been you know Batman films before, and there will be again. I'm sure um, they were very different in terms of their interpretation, and as with a lot of franchises, by the time they got to a fourth one, they, you know, they were seen to have run out of steam, and and there wasn't a lot of. Uh, anticipation for seeing a Batman film, and it was something of an uphill struggle for us in, in that sense. But we certainly weren't trying to be reactive in any way. Um, Batman has been interpreted and reinterpreted many different ways over the years, and so we just saw ourselves as having an opportunity to do something different and, yeah. and put really put Batman into the kind of context that Superman was put by Dick Donner when he made his 1978 film. So yeah. no one had really done the origin story. No one had really done the extraordinary figure against an ordinary background. And, and so we had a little gap there in movie history that we got, we got to, to work with.